be the case. Instead, they're actually going to flash down the ramp, and it's Flopsky to find the opener. But Magisk is in with the return, and then they count a flash off the back of it to deny any trade attempt from NIP. As Charles, they've got it back into a four on four. Yeah, and they've still got three players on this site. A fourth even coming in on rotation. The Stralis are fully convinced, and they should be. Every man here from the ninjas. Popsky trying to find his way up through the sandbags. Glaze found a deeg on the site, just hiding below the plant spot. Lekra coming in from the short side, and he catches with just looking away. That's a good kill, but it needs to be more. NIP, 25 seconds. There's Glaze off of the site, and they can now pick the bomb back up. But Astralis still have two players here, ready and waiting. Oh, I mean, you can feel it happening. You can feel this one slipping out of control. Rez tries, Ooh. but uh, it's not going to be good enough. And Astralis, they'll steal that one away with the four spy. He's pushed all the way down the ramp, denying this control for NIP, but they are waiting in the wings. Wanting to come back in for a little bit more. Zipnex, he's making his presence known, but does he know? There's five T's around the other side. It's going to get sloppy. It's going to get messy. And damage has already been done. The grenade's finding very little Oof. and the Deegs a lot more. And that's the thing, I think if you're an IP, you already know that you're going to have Astralis challenging this ramp area time and time again. And so I imagine this is going to be a pretty a pretty frequent sight, right, for NIP hanging around yeah. looking to get these kills. And they're trying to turn something that Astralis had as their strong point here on Vertigo against them and trying to make it into a bit of a weakness, right? Taking these two players that they know are going into the front line and using them to create this space. And so now they sat five on three up. There's been no ability to trade over on the Astralis camp. And there's still oh, a chance no. here that this one can get out of hand for the Danes. Oh dear, it just might be flawless device. There's there's smokes in the way, but he's still getting tagged up. He's running, oh. but he's not escaping anytime soon. Plopsky with three, and he's the big greed giant with the orb <laughs> in hand. And oh, well, not exactly sweet. It's a Peace. little bit corny, though, because Rez actually going to get the opener here, peeking over the top of the box. Still a B-site potential play here for NIP, but Dupree has knocked down the first man entering that site. Then they are very much in the heads of NIP. They know where this one's ending up. Even, you know, pulling Glaive away from the A-bomb site, more towards the CT side, allows for these faster rotations. That said, Lecro and Twist have just removed both players inside of the bomb site. So yeah. Astralis might have known what was the game plan, or at least had a bit of an ink. But it's NIP to land all the shots and actually create this space over towards B. They've got that bomb down now. And Zipnix and Glaive, they're throwing into this retake. A man down, very low in utility. Flashbang Ooh. goes in and Rez is going to find himself another kill in this wow. round. He'll take three at the very, very end. Were initially looking down behind that smoke, but now it has faded, and NIP can win that battle very easily with Kriegs. Lecro giving us an example as to how and why. Device dead, Glaive trading for one on that A site, but right now NIP still hold that man advantage. Ooh, they just turned around. Okay. The three grab a second. This would be one of those flanks that we're talking about, and he can't. Albeit, I think the damage has been done. At least over here for Astralis. Oh, this is so smart. NIP, they're not even going to go into the A site. They've got Lecro so deep in mid. They're going to be loud and proud on this rotation. They want Astralis to hear this because Astralis don't expect a man so deep. Zipnix, luckily rotating through CT. He's avoided death for the time being. But Astralis is second guessing this. Either saving or not convinced well, by the loud noise of NIP's yeah. rotation. And that's going to be a bomb plant. Even with the late rotate from Astralis, Lecro is still here. Oh, bad just because it's short and he's got a Krieg as well. You'd love to hold on to that if you're mm. a Charlis. And uh, of course, Magisk will. I mean, he doesn't lose fights. So it's going to be Twist Ooh. there that probably will run it to oh. and quite the shot. The fights <laughs> really lighten him up there. And that's a, a good step in the right for, or excuse me, right direction for Astralis. Magisk is going to find one as well. And that also means that the numbers have very much tipped in the favor of Astralis. Oh, Dupree's watching for this, though. They're double boosting. What kind of angle does this give you? Dupree's seen something, and he's calling for support. Glaive has to be careful. Anyone getting close up by green will be seen, and Propsky is spamming away. That Ooh. gives away as to two players on this B site. The grenade could finish off Dupree, but the molly will instead. Propsky at least gets one man off of B. There's still another to deal with, though. Glaive up close, and oh. a man in middle that they could boost towards. But right now, it's just a solo B effort here for NIP while they wait for the utility to be set up. 
And IP are doing a very good job of just being tricky, right? Just coming out with these little gimmicks, these little, tiny, irritating details that make all the difference. And they've been able to turn this round on its head, down from a three on five into a two on two. But now it all falls onto the shoulders of Nork. He has been able to retrieve this bomb. He'll tap it, hoping that that baits the peak, and instead he puts himself in the firing line of Magisk. So Astralis, they're actually going to break the curse here and now. They get that second round locked in. Are they going to go through the smoke? Ballsy call. Cool. The flash actually hits Rez, and he gets fully white. Device in the meantime, blind kills Nork. Ooh. That is a good shot there from Twist. He eliminates Zipex, takes him out of the round. Device also hurt in the process. 4v4. Oh my god, he's right there. Oh, oh no! That, dear. That's abrasive. Oh man, Device can't catch a break today. He has been. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. NIP, dude, they live online. Look at this. <laughs> They've got the bomb down. And this is going to be an eighth round. I mean, Dupree, as much as you got to love him, this is undoable. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, case, I, case in point. Yeah, there so we have NIP it. over towards the <laughs> B-bomb site. Let's all bear witness to this, because they're, uh, they're switching things up. They've actually gone ahead and crawled Plopsky. Man, Plopsky's like a little little rat. I don't want to I didn't want to say it, but how is he getting into all these positions? Or oh, how am I oh, just the rat hello. catcher? The Pied Piper. He's seen him. Oh, it's oh. a backpack. Backpack's out. Oh, no. oh he's dropped. Ah! There we go. Oh Plopsky's going to get it. And that's the fight. Ooh. Dupree back with a trade. And uh, keeping Astralis in this one. And that's actually been enough to send NIP away from this B side of the map. Now, that was never really their uh, their kind of end goal. And uh-oh, Lecro, he, he doesn't... He, he's not. He knows he should be a good boy and keep wrapping the safe site, but he's got faith in his teammates. There's only Device there. He's looking. He's hunting for Dupree. He doesn't want to let Astralis get away with these orbs at the end of this round. Good observation right there. And we have seen it before. Lecro just oh, gets no. himself into those oh, very no. pivotal positions. And this being one of them, Dupree falls as sort of calculated. It's going to be up to Device. And he's not going to be able to do a damn thing with it. Well, right now, Astralis are just waiting. Not really putting much onus in mid. Allowing Lecro to get these big flanks. Twist, nice damn. from Device. As he hits the second shot on Twist. Takes down the orb. Res with the trade. And he's just lining them up. The Creed broken as we know it. With a double kill. One of those orbs gone. And Astralis down a man. Part of the game, Hugo. It is part of the game. Three versus four. We've got Dupree, Glaive, and Magisk left alive here. But so far, it's going to be Nip that has their number. 11-3 half. They are sitting very pretty. Ooh. And they're going to continue that pretty rampage. Running right into this B-bomb site. Dupree Ooh. responds on the knock of the AWP. The bomb does get planted in the meantime. Dupree and Glaive left to retake 2v3. Yeah, Plopsky's looking for him. Dupree looking to try and do something nutty, but he gets caught Ooh. there, and he goes from Dupree to dupe re as he... Uh, what was yeah, you know, that, that's a, that's a Explain read, Explain yourself man. right that's, now. That's the inner demon see seeping through Glaive. He's full of demons. <laughs> he is a demon himself, and he's okay. trying to pull this one out from the clutches of hell itself, but Plopsky is one step ahead, and NIP, they're going to take a 12-3 heart. It does that sometimes, yeah, man. I mean, you know, dude, I, mean, I can't you're, say more than that. We've all been there, right? We've all been there. sticking a little bit right there, Harry. Yeah, What's going you know, on with well, that? A little it, caramel. We, we, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, we caramel. Just, we've we, tried to glue his mouth shut. Oh. For the better of the world. It hasn't worked. I've eaten the glue. Uh, classic <laughs> me move, really. Now, that is something I'm we'll having we'll a great time after the fact. As well. We're going to discuss that after the fact. We're going to look at Astralis planting the bomb, getting into this A site, getting yeah. things back on course here. Yeah, I must have eaten the glue, man, because Astralis actually have a bomb down. And now four <laughs> on five. They're trying to hold on to it. Rez actually in with Ooh. the return. And, oh, device, go there on, go on, go on. Ah! Oh, there we go. It went the other way. Oh, sorry. Calm down. Oh, that's a shot. I get a little psyched up. What psyched up is that? Astralis holding on tooth and nail. Get the bomb planted. Win the pistol round. Allows for both of these players to go for a bit of a challenge. And they put a lot of utility down range. They put a lot of stock in trying to get this damage off early. And no duel presents itself as a result of those smokes being down. So Astralis are just allowed to hide behind it. Now the kind of question is just can he keep it going? And he's not had any, any kind of problems in this map thus far. He hasn't shown any signs of slowing down as Plopsky. Still alive, still a threat. 
and uh, Twist is here to support him. No utility here for IP on these two players in the bomb set. Apart from this flash on Plopski, he's really going to have to work hard to get utility out of that. Oh, the timing on the jump, though. Magis goes up as Rez comes in for the repeat, and that smoke has faded, giving Popski a way to fight as well. Two men down for Astralis as they finally get their footing inside of the site, but not for long. Twist has climbed up and above. Can he fire off? Oh, no device. Quick with the AWP on his second kill of the round. Going to have to find a multi-kill if he wants to win this one. Teammate drops as well 14 seconds bomb under his control but if he's going to get aggressive to find this kill he's going to need them both no time to retreat no time oh, to back up and no time to shine nork is here with the orp and nip will get on the board nice and early um they've already heard players fall on bikes so maybe they just check that straight up nork has been oh. boosted and <laughs> does a little jump up gets glade and now he's back behind the smoke again zipnix is trying to close the gap and close it he shall back into a four on four as the bomb goes down here astralis juggling these weapons out from the bomb site zipnix Oh, he just about gets away, doesn't he? Down through short, rejoins the rest of the gang. And IP, they've got a retake in a round that Astralis really didn't have much to work with. Still the favor, massively kind of leading the way of NIP, but there's a chance for the Danes here to deny map point to the Swedes. Oh, these smokes are incredible for NIP. Ooh. They completely cut Astralis off. They can't catch any vision. They can't catch any information, and no one's even on the bomb, but Astralis don't know that. The tap has been made. Magis has got to go wide, and he'll get traded just through three. Knife potentially, but he's going to run close. Oh, oh Nog saves the day, and he gets three in the round. I think there's oh, just oh, enough time. Baby. He's got it. So close. The fastest wow. man in the server, Nork. Oh, look at this. It starts with that. That's how you know it's going to be a good round. Well, this, this is it. This could be it. Yeah, this very well could be. Nip by themselves. Sitting pretty. 15 to 6. This could be where the line is drawn here for Astralis. So he's in this best of three. Again, we can oh. go on to the second map. Overpass. Good trades right here for Astralis. Really trying to keep him alive. Three versus three. We look at the A site. And do you remember we've seen nothing but A takes oh. all game long. It's even on Astralis' T side, they've had one B round so far. That grenade almost ends the life of Zitnix, but luckily enough, bullets might have to do it. Instead, they will. Twist will close the map, and that's NIP 16 to 6 on the first game of the day, or at least for these guys in Group A. They are going to uh, lock in a map win against the best in the world. The success story unfolding before us now. Smoke's going in and Twist backed off over towards the car. That first man's in and already oh. close by. Ah. Flashbang's good. And Dupree, Glaive between them. They're going to get two kills. This round already... Oh, it's already falling apart for an IP. And it's just... Nork left, 1v4, what was a 1v5, and of course he's not going to get it. See, I, you know, we, we saw Threat say that little thing about how he decides roles, you know, based on map. I don't know, because so far, you know, like this, this double AWP has just come back through again on the two usual suspects. And it's going to scare you. Ooh. Nope, not happening for Dupree. Nork with the second of the round. These orbs, or this orb specifically, is finding a lot of success. Astralis just hoping for their individuals to win these duels, and right now it's not happening. They were a stalemate outside of the B site, and with that fight falling for them, they're going to bail. Save in a full buy round. NIP's first rifle round uh, comes to a close with five alive as well. And it doesn't get much better than that. They're even going to start yeah. hunting. Look at Lecro pushing in through Monster. He might find Zipnik's waiting spawn side. Knock single-handedly stopping Astralis right here from even getting close to entering this B bomb site. No, 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 no. Don't want that. Astralis need to find an answer for these double offs. Oh. That's not it. Device getting absolutely slammed to the floor by Twist. He even crouch beat it as well, expecting an AWP to be there, I'm sure, with how aggressive NIP are being with these guns. Yeah, you know, that's like usually the way things go with this double AWP, but man, that's not even how it's been happening for Twist and Nork. In a lot of these oh. situations, the AWPs have been coming in clutch towards the end of these rounds, and now uh -oh. Nork got to step up once oh. again, but this time he gets deleted. Come on, Twist on his AWP, down through connector, baby. Lecro's with him, inside of the bomb site. Uh -oh. MP9 takes down the first man, and Lecro still looking for more. There's another oh, bomb man. is down at his feet, and it's Glaive, a big brain on a big old pair his shoulders let's see if he can muscle his way in through this clutch he's just missed the timing the mp9's gotten away the orps now at short and this bomb is still down in the water he's got to go up 
10 seconds. No mm. time to really fake this out. Taps the bomb, tries to bait the peak, and they haven't given it to him. NIP, they played this to perfection. There's no time. There's no chance. Surely, wow. Glaive, a nice attempt, but it's all in vain. The round goes the way of NIP. Molotovs in middle continue to come down. That's uh, going to delay Astralis. And although no one's capitalized on it here for NIP, that can put some uh, scare in the mind of Astralis, thinking that maybe someone's pushed up party, long playground. Necro's got a wall bang. <laughs> Don't know where that happened, but uh, well, oh no! Oh, <laughs> to man. the wood! Yeah. Astralis just can't catch a break. I would just be feeling so sad if I was. Oh, oh dear, it's happening, Glaive. Run away! One HP. Just run. Just get away from them, Glaive. They're not showing you mercy. And so he's had to retreat, thankfully, device has maybe graced them with some good news after a bit of a drought of exactly that. Astralis, three on four. And he's going to go ahead and start to try and rejoin his teammates down here towards B. Now, it's another opener found from Rez in this round. And as we've seen is often the case, NIP, they get these openers and then they rely on the orbs to lock it down and close the round out. So, Astralis, they've got to try and stop that. And it's not happening anytime soon. Zipnix has already been removed. He was the man carrying the bomb. Things have gone from bad to worse here oh, for Astralis. Missed flashbang from Glaive and that's all, all they had. Device of one. Glaive picks another up off the body of his teammate, but is it too late at this point? NIP, again, four players on the right side of the map. Device, big entry. Is it enough to save the day? His teammate's on one point of health. Device has got to do it all, and he might just do exactly that. Second kill with a man on the site he's not ready for, and Nork backs up, giving Letcro the room to maneuver. So let's just focus on that, because they're going to try and pick up the pace here with the pistol. Ooh. They're wasting no time. Yeah. They'll charge on in, and there's Dupree's Deagle Ooh. doubling down the V-bomb side. Well, that belongs to Astralis right now. NIP, the pressure is on. Double AWP in the retake. This is finally where this thing that they've been li uh, relying on and has been yielding so much success actually becomes a bit of a problem. Nork and Twist, can they get the job done? They've got Rez with them to try and help out. These are kind of the three names we'll be looking for in this situation. And already Ooh. the first kill's in. Yeah, flash through as well. Lots of utility for NIP on this retake, but most of it gone now. And Zipnix cool. stuck in the corner. Magis will trade him out for one. It's going to be Nork alone. Does he save or does he Damn. go? He's in for it. He's committing. Smoke on the bomb. He has a kit, but the time is so low. He may as well just stick it. I mean, he may as well, but he gets off and Device is going to be able to get close. <laughs> Pretty sure his ass just hanging out of the smoke. Yeah, right there. tapping <laughs> it. Similar players. Here we go. Hello, yeah. Bit of now, a change. They tried the fast B-Rush. Why not yeah. try the stay in T-spawn? Perhaps it's... you just watching Counter-Strike for the first time. Oh. No they way! The train's ready for it, and the train's blocked so them! Ready. So ready. And oh. I feel like in the heads of Astralis, and Astralis are thinking, you know, this is... Something's not right about some of these Swedes, you know. We haven't tried the five-man boost yet. That's all I'm saying. And yet here they are keeping an eye on it. And Rez has even got yeah. aggressive in mid. This is perfect. This is incredible from NIP. And Astralis are just getting red like a book. Rez, can he escape? Does oh. he even want to escape? Maybe they're not locked in. No, no, yeah, they're locked in here with him. And they win. Never mind. It was going to be a Rorschach quote, but it's not needed because he's been annihilated there. Save the gold, Harry. Yeah, Save I'm saving that for another day. Times are interesting. Probably put the gold away in the top of your closet somewhere. With all the toilet paper. Yeah, which is undoubtedly what Harry's been stacking in his closet. So <laughs> I spend all the time in there with my gold, just in my closet. It's good. It works. And uh, here's the A push. <laughs> or the A stand still. Yeah, so, I guess. Uh, There's not much pushing going on. Yeah, a standoff. Oh, the grenades, man. Bro, the timing is just unreal for NIT. This would be a good round for Astralis to grab. Good start back into Electro has something to say about that, though. AWP here on Device. One versus four. Yeah. Grabs the CZ. Trucks down Lecro. Now he's finding himself in a weirder spot. Misses <laughs> AWP. Shot 15 seconds left up and gets pushed by a USP. All she wrote. Anyway, AWP here in Swiss hand, huh, Hugo? Yeah, his bib was bigger back then. But, uh, yes. <laughs> Fast long play, Twist just going to smoke them off, goes, okay, you want the A site? You can have the A site. Two teammates waiting, holding long, and Rez gets away with a kill. He's got Letgro by his side if needed, and Twist is still hanging around in the toilets, looking to get his hands nice and dirty. Oh, dear, missed shot, and that is going to be where Astralis can pounce from three different positions. Zipnix comes out the connector and secures a four on four, but Rez has re-aggressed. Like, this is weird because NIP are thinking it's B, but it's not B yet. It's going to be B, but NIP have read it before Astralis have even made that 
that decision because of this <laughs> flank from Rez. He doesn't clear long. Now he's going, oh, it's oh. going to be long, guys. It can't, it can't be B. There's no one B. But now Astralis are getting outside a monster, and there are already two players here. Would love to know the comms oh. right there. Either way, Nock is going to be playing around the Spangler pole, finding just one. Maybe a second here. They're going to keep feeding him. There's no time on the clock. There's nothing here for Astralis to do. They're going to have to take them all out. As they sit, not only 1-0 up in this series, but 11-4 up in the second map. Oh, but there's Magisk in with the opener, and he saw the, the the bomb maybe on that peak. It was a little far away, but he at least saw two more players. And so rotations are coming in. Magisk is second kill in the round. And NIP trying desperately to close oh, no. the gap and put these Glocks to use. Well, they've done a bit of a bit of due diligence here, but finally the kills have come in. Oh, it's oh, close, but no cigar. It's Glaive to smoke him there. Real rough on Majest. He's going to get tried real hard here. Five members of Nip ready to barrel out onto this B bomb site. He's going to be that sole defender, SMG in hand. And the only thing right now that is stopping this pincer movement from the side of Nip would be this smoke. That's going to be fading. Majest waking on the other side, finds one, can't seem to find a second. Nock and Plopsky are on the job. A little bit of time left. They're going to have to get this bomb down now. Ooh. It's going to be that of Zipex Device and Dupree to try to retake the site. Yeah, Dupree has put the advantage in favor of Astralis. Twist and Plopsky left standing. Both players here inside of the bomb site. That bomb is planted and ticking away. Astralis are the ones on the clock. They're going to wait for Dupree to sneak his way into the back line. Twist has been holding this all round long, though. Plopsky getting the opener. Now, if he can deal with the second man in... Oh, no, actually, it's got to be worse. Oh, wow. Before you can count on it, Twist takes that quick peek into Dupree, pivots back around and helps his teammate out of danger. Great awareness there from Twist. But we're running out of time over on the Astralis side of things. This could be their last ball by in this map, in this series. Yeah, they're just trying to get ahead of that, too. He finds that opening kill on the knock. Just, just running out, taking that early fight. Device is hanging around in his smoke, and a player has passed by. That's a free kill. No trade, but it does come through eventually. Rez is quick on the trigger. It's a four on three. Astralis still hold the advantage, and a man still inside of the toilets. That is not to be expected. And Dupree, he could even rap. He can gain information. He hears these grenades, and this is his time to shine. Yeah, he just stayed alive right there. Does enough taking down the bomb. Rez falls, and it looks like it's going to be twist as well. Plopsky not long after him. It actually is 50-50 as a result of this round. It's 11 to 11 in terms of the opening duels. So we are split right down the middle and that scoreline is anything but, you know, Astralis are trying to get back into the swing of things, but it might get cut short if NIP have their way. Rez getting the first, Zipnik's over in heaven. He's been a bit of a hero and he's got Glaive alongside him. This is messy, this is filthy. They're just hiding, what? they're tucking away. They're still fighting though inside of the bomb site and Rez and Twist have lit up the two players that were here device now as this rotation is the man who's set up over on graffiti has got to do it all and he's been very quiet today now's the time to stand loud and proud as he takes down the first man device versus rez flashes through tries to uh bait the attention of rez out tries to get him to give oh, something up but rez oh. is quick that's just gonna post them up in such a good spot to continue to build upon this and keep finding success. You know, one of the toughest opponents you're gonna face is potentially already out of the way on day one with a win under your belt. And so you're gonna take that all day long. Dupree, over in mid, that smoke fades and his timing is so unfortunate. There's so many bodies on the other side of that smoke. And so that's gonna prompt the rotation up from this uh, this B bomb site device now, trying to fall in line, trying to hold Ooh. down A. Oh, it tries to go back in for the repeat, and that is optimistic to say the very least. NIP are going to get this bomb planted, there's no doubt about it. They're five on three. Astralis, can they do anything, or is this map and series point for the Swedes? Might just be done, though, Trace. Never say never, guys. Never say never. Now, Astralis. They're saying never on this round. Going forward in this round, but, uh, you know, they're saying next round. They just tried to walk through it. Yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, have you ever, have you ever cleaned a double glazed door and, and you know, it's been freshly double cleaned glazed. and you try and run through, I don't know what it's called, like one of the sliding patio oh, doors, okay, yeah, yeah, and yeah. you just walk straight through it and you slam into that bad boy? Well, that's how Astralis are feeling right now. <laughs> Zipness and Magis, they're the two players left standing, and uh, they've got to try and deny the victory, but of course they're not going to be able to. Zipnix, you've had some phenomenal clutches, both online and on LAN. But this, this would stop that. This yeah. would trump it. This, would, this might top them all, and secondly, I don't think it's going to happen, but let's see. You know, while the things have... Never say never, Trace.
Uh, never. This is not going to happen. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> and it's done. 16-8. Get them out of here. NIP opening up the Pro League Season 11 with a bang.